The Mound of the Dead, Moen Jodaro, rises over the ruins of one of the oldest civilizations of mankind that flourished more than 4,000 years ago. Spread over 400 cities along the Indus River, a symmetrical layout of burnt clay bricks. Generous streets, high walls, a network of urban drains and the great communal bath all reveal the mysteries of this ancient culture. Linked by a daily flight from Karachi, Mohenjo-daro remains an intriguing center of human heritage. The mausoleum of the founder of the nation, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, in gleaming white marble, rises as a major landmark of the largest city of Pakistan. High-pointed arches with copper grills embellish the marble dome. The cosmopolitan metropolis of Karachi has a population of over 10 million. And modern buildings rise high above the city, which bustles with commerce and trade. A visit to the National Museum takes us to a world of magical splendor. A wealth of rare manuscripts, rich sculptures, and other priceless artifacts leave you in a state of ceaseless wonder. She touches the warm waters of the Arabian Sea. of beaches along clear blue waters tempts anyone for a pleasurable swim or to just laze around. The dramatic sand spit with its naturally sculpted hole in the rock fascinates visitors from home and abroad. And don't miss a camel ride along the beach Of course, drama. Cobras sway to the spellbinding music of his flute. A hundred kilometers from Karachi is perhaps the largest necropolis in the world. Beyond the tombs and graves of Makli and Chokandi, lies the ancient city of Tata. The city was chosen by one of the great Mughal emperors, Shah Jahan, the builder of the Taj Mahal. The city is the site of the magnificent red brick mosque, Shah Jahan Mosque, strikingly decorated with blue and green glazed tile and white bands, creating optical illusions evocative of an Eshka print. Its 99 domes are a masterpiece of acoustics. The ancient
ancient art of Sindhi Adzrak, block printing, can use in the shadow of the mosque. This homespun cotton cloth is most popular with the people of Sindh. This colorful ware uses 27 natural mineral and vegetable dyes in a complex process. Coppersmiths in Peshawar give the city its rich identity. The frontier town is famous for its Central Asian flavor. The famous bazaar of storytellers, the Kazahani Bazaar, is still the source of ballads, epics, anecdotes and oral traditions. Here not only do tribal men trade, they also mingle and hobnob with each other. Silversmiths turning out a bewildering variety of tribal jewellery with filigree work studded with sparkling gemstones. The crowded bazaars of the city feature tea houses with steaming cups of jasmine tea. They call it Kwawa. sandstone buildings mark the Peshawa Islamia College. The center of academic excellence has been the alma mater of many prominent scholars, leaders and other celebrities of the frontier. The Peshawa Museum houses wooden effigies of brave warriors from the pagan Kalash Valley. These carved structures are an integral part of their death rites. Along with them are Buddhist sculptures from the Gandhara period. Colorfully painted trucks lead us through the arid and rugged mountain landscape of Balochistan. This enormous province covers almost half of Pakistan's land area. Due to the harsh climate, the mountains are jagged and eroded. The great empty spaces are contrasted with amazing formations created by violent earth movements. frontiers, the British laid a strategic broad gauge railway line into Balochistan, winding through tunnels and small railway stations of the colonial era, this track is still being used for trade and travel. by air, road and train to the rest of the country is Baluchistan's capital, Quetta, located at 1,680 meters, that's 5,500 feet above sea level. In the past, a resting place for traders, Quetta's dars still bustle with trading fervor. Surrounded by rugged mines is the serene Hama Lake. The richness of tradition combines with modern facilities for the visitor. Lahore, symbolized by the Pakistan monument, is the birthplace of the Pakistan Resolution. 
the capital of the Punjab, is one of the greatest centers of Mughal culture in the world. Built by the Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great is the Great Lahore Fort. It is an impressive complex of pavilions consisting of Jangir's quadrangle, the halls of public and royal audience. Fountains, lawns and flowers embellish the courtyards. The fine lattice work on thin marble surfaces is a unique accomplishment of the master artisans of the Mughal era. A rare miracle of artisanship is the Shish Mahal, the romantic hall of mirrors. A myriad of tiny convex mirrors arranged in intricate floral and geometrical patterns reflect a multiple vision. The vaulted stucco ceilings stun the visitor with a bewildering painted tracery. The adjacent Nolaka Pavilion has walls with richly decorated frescoes inlaid with precious stones. They depict enchanting floral and seasonal motifs. Situated in the walled city of Lahore is the Wazir Khan Mosque. This 17th century marble is another example of the splendor of Muslim architecture. opens as a dreamlike vision. A pleasure haunt where arrays of fountains dance on shimmering waters. of the Ravi River is the mausoleum of the Emperor John Gear. The Hiran Minar, the Minaret of the Deer, is fully dedicated to the memory of the Empress Pet Gazelle. The silence and harmony of this monument makes repose in death so sublime. of Lahore is the majestic Badshahi Mosque.
The people of Lahore are alive, fun-loving and energetic. They delight in the variety of their food and tradition. Springtime signals the advent of the Sant, the kite festival of Lahore. Multicolored kites take to the sky. There's a party on every rooftop. This is no simple kite flying. Enthusiasts revel in bringing down their opponent's kites, entangling them until the string is cut. Museum has the rare distinction of contemporary calligraphy by Sadekem, the internationally renowned painter. collection of the Buddhist gallery has the unique fasting Buddha. Near the modern city of Islamabad lies the ancient Buddhist capital of Taxila. Distinctively laid out monasteries are reflective of Gandhara architecture. Walls of large natural rock shored up by slabs of cut stone bear silent witness to a golden age gone by. still echoes the Buddhist spirit of peace and tranquility. The Taxila Museum houses rare pieces of Buddhist art.
Tarawa Fort, the edge of Cholistan Desert near Bahabalpur, was built by a local dynasty of princes. Is the last oasis for nomad caravans coming in from the desert. tile tombs at Uch, near Bawalpur, are part of the most beautiful ruins in Pakistan. Multan, the city of saints, one of the oldest living cities of South Asia, reached the height of its religious and cultural influence in the 13th century. This city is famous for the elegantly proportioned shrine of the Saint Rukne Alam, a master of the mystical Sufi orders. He encouraged devotional music in worship. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not